G'day guys, and welcome to G-Man Speaks. Today, we're gonna to take a look at a video called The 40 Differences in Treatment Between a Sub-5, a Normie, and a Chad. So this is from a creator called Wheat Waffles. Um, I think he's a bit of a black pillar type guy. I found this sort of stuff pretty funny. So let, let, let's have a watch of it. And I'll, I'll, as always, guys, I'll give you some of my input along the way. One. Normies are in the 4 to 6 out of 10 range of looks and are considered average. Chads are a 7 and above and are considered highly attractive. Sub 5s are a 3 or below and considered unattractive. 2. Normies typically experience neutral treatment from women. Chads receive positive feedback and sub 5s are met with repulsion. 3. That's pretty black pill type stuff right there, guys. As I say, God, I like to be balanced. So I'm going to just pull apart some of the stuff that this guy says. Chads, chads don't always get positive feedback no matter what they do. A lot of them are called douchebags, flogs, wankers, whatever, right? A lot of women actually actively stay away from them because they know what they're up to. Uh, and they do get rejected just as much as um, any other guy a lot of the time. Sure, on dating apps and swipes, it's different because it's all based on face value. But in actual life, in the real world, through experience, I don't think it's that lopsided because women know to stay away from a chad. And I've seen a lot of women actually go out with normies and sub five guys because those guys have may have a lot more to offer just apart from looks, but generally those connections are made in person, not on dating apps. Normies get rejected the majority of the time they show interest in a girl. Sub fives <laughs> always get rejected. Chads get accepted a lot and in fact sometimes have women reaching out to them. 4. When men ask women about their looks, normies will typically be told phrases like You're fine and there's nothing wrong with you. Meanwhile, chads will be told You're really attractive, who's the lucky lady? Then sub fives are told one day, you'll find the right person and make her really happy. Five, according to my Fiverr face rating data, 77% of men are classed as normies. The bottom 14% are classed as sub fives, while just the top 9% of men fall into the Chad category. So that'd be true, right? That's called statistics, and that's a bell curve, right? So what is average? Average is the majority, so there's nothing shocking with that. Six, Normies can overcome rejections if he finds a woman who has a specific type. For sub fives, there is no such thing as types as they are too unattractive. As for chads, most girls will unknowingly have a type that resembles a chad and wrongly assume their preference is unique when in reality it is the man they are attracted to and not the type. 7. Another way normies can overcome rejections is by gym maxing. In other words, building a highly aesthetic body. Meanwhile, chads can still excel in dating with or without the gym. Then for sub fives, going to the gym has little to no impact as it is seen as compensating. Eight, height <laughs> is a big factor and can change the category you're in. For That's very true, so I'm gonna agree with that. That's a very true one um, based on my experience. For example, a chad who is 5'6 is roughly equivalent to an average height normie who is also near the same level to a 6 foot 4 sub 5. Oh, Nine. I got that. Sub when five. it comes to dating apps, normies can expect to get anywhere from 1 to 3 matches per day. Chads will get 10 plus sub 5. All right, I'm not going to say I'm a chad guys, but I had a really good profile. I was really good on the dating apps. Um, I had a really good system going on. 10 daily matches, nah, it'd be like 50, it'd be more. It really depends on how you do it. I always tell you guys how to get more matches is keep resetting your profile, keep deleting the app, reinstalling it every day in a highly crowded area. You'll get, you'll get way more matches. Thank me later. Fives will get none besides the occasional scam bot or Instagram clout chaser. 10. If a normie tells a joke, it will be laughed at by girls only if it is funny. Meanwhile, for sub fives, all of their jokes will be seen as weird oh, or creepy. That. Then for chads, their jokes will be voluntarily laughed at by women, no matter how bad or offensive <laughs> it is. 11. Normies often have a place in women's lives as being used for attention. For chads, the roles are reversed and women are competing for his attention. 
Then for sub fives, they don't even have a place in these games as women don't want to be associated with them. Twelve, when a man approaches a woman. No, I'll disagree. So the sub sub five, I don't like using these categories, guys. And this is really sort of black pill stuff. That's why I'm having to laugh at it because I think some guys really go down the rabbit hole of over compensating and making up all these frameworks for maybe their own lack of um, attention they get from women, right? That it's um, sub fives. What would I say? A sub five, they will get attention from women. They've got to spend money. They've got to be taking them out. They've got to overcompensate and essentially they're paying for it, right? A Chad guy, he won't really have to pay. He can get away with a coffee date or a walk um, without any expectations of it. Normies will do dinner dates and stuff like that and they'll do it on, 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 on a frequent occasion or because they've already, normies, as I'll say, that, which is very fitting, Normies don't understand how women work and sub fives and they'll spend money and they roll out the red carpet and take women out um, and treat them and pedestalize them and treat them like superstars as where a Chad or a Chad type guy. Yeah, he might have some more options, but he just doesn't give a shit. Um, it's just a, a bit of a life of indifference and it might be because he does have more in abundance, but those kind of guys just don't give a shit in general um, and don't do all the things that the other guys do and women are attracted to that sort of behavior. The most common rejection type for normies are soft rejections. For example, sorry, I have a boyfriend. <laughs> Sub fives too will get a lot of these soft rejections, but will also experience the occasional hard rejection, such as move along creep before I call security. <laughs> Lastly, for chads, rejections aren't as regular. They'll get accepted a lot and in fact can sometimes have women approaching them. To put it more simply, chads get accepted by women, normies get friend zoned by women, sub fives get harshly rejected by women. 14. A common feature of chads is their sharp jawline, a jawline that is square with good definition. Most normies have average looking or rounded jawlines. Sub fives typically have recessed and asymmetrical jawlines. 15. Another common feature of chads is a piercing eye area commonly referred to as hunter eyes. Normies have mediocre looking eyes. Sub fives have large protruding eyes commonly known Who comes up with this shit? as prey eyes. 16. Prey eyes. Normies are in the most subjective range of looks. For example, if women had to rate this man, there'd likely be opinions as low as three and as high as seven. Meanwhile, this man will almost <laughs> always get rated a two or three and this chad will almost always get an 8, 9, or 10. 17. When it comes to physical touch, women will feel uneased and awkward when playfully touched by normies. In contrast, for chads, women will actually look for excuses to touch him. Then, for sub fives, any physical... I don't recommend you even try any of this stuff, trying to touch and do this playful stuff. I don't know what this, I don't know what this guy is talking about contact will be seen as horrifying. Just take a look at this video. That's a normal, if some random dude came up and kissed her, like why would you, why would you do that? I, that could be a reaction from even just a, a, a super hot guy. That's an invasion of space. I wouldn't like it if some random chick came up to me and jumped on me, regardless of how attractive she was. Right? Just, <laughs> so that guy was way out of line. He's going to end up, he's a steve and he's going to end up um, on Facebook group. 18. Normies will often need to get into a relationship with a woman, in other words, give his commitment, in order to be physically involved with her. For chads, this is not necessary, as they can be intimate with women with no formal relationship involved. It can be as easy as arranging FWB or asking a woman to come over from a dating app. Then, as for sub fives, neither of these will work for them as they... Once again, I'm going to critique this. So guys, as I always say, you always go for girls a point or two below you. You don't go for the hot ones, right? Even as a normie or a sub five, if you're sub five, go for fucking ugly chicks. Don't go thinking you're going to get hot chicks if you're not attractive yourself. I think it's where this argument falls over. That's I, I, just, I just can't see how um, guys can go this far down the, down the rabbit hole. The reality is, guys, you got to go for what you... What is your target market? You've got to think about it like a business. 
what's your demographic and, and what are you going to be attractive to? You can't be swiping and trying to get hot chicks and kissing hot chicks on the cheek like that last guy did. If you're if you're a two out of ten, you gotta be going for other two out of tens. You gotta go you gotta be a permanent monster hunter, you know? And Chad's, yeah, Chad Chad's do get lots of action, but it's truly because they don't give a shit and they'll be bluntly will be direct and they will proposition women on the frequent. Get rejected heaps, right? But you proposition women on the frequent and eventually the numbers game just stacks up and you do get the opportunities coming out of that. You can do that as a normie or a sub five, all right? You just got to be doing that to women that are in your bracket, in your demographic. Yeah, you might have a lower chance of success than what a Chad guy will have in your demographic, but I don't think it's all doom and gloom, guys. They can't obtain any form of relationship with women. 19. The one and only exception to this is if money is involved. Sub fives may be able to get a relationship with a woman by paying her, yeah. either directly or indirectly. Depends on the woman. may be able to get an equal relationship with a woman. As for chads, they don't need money, and it could <laughs> even be possible that the woman finances the relationship in order to. This is all bullshit. So that's all short term stuff. Yeah, cool. You can have Bryce's who don't have any money, but no girl's going to want to settle down with a Bryce because he's a fun time guy, and women work that out pretty quick, right? I think it's funny though. The, the, this guy, this video's got like um, you guys probably know this guy, Wheat Waffles. Uh, I don't know if he's creating any more. I've only just come across a few of his videos, but he's got one hundred and sixty thousand subs, um, and this video has eight hundred and seventy six thousand views. So um, quite popular stuff, and he's putting out a lot of um, I'd say misinformation or guys who just sort of want an excuse to to, to give up. If you don't want to date and chase around, if you're a sub five normie or Chad, you've got to put in the time, you've got to put in the effort, right? It's all about time in. It's a numbers game. I always say that, guys. You've got to keep trying and trying and trying and getting rejected and rejected and rejected, and eventually you'll get one. But, you know, I can understand why guys don't want to do that as well. But to make it work and keep him around. 20. If the relationship comes to an end, a Chad will have a lasting effect on the woman after they break up. She will still remember him many months, if not years, after they fell apart. As for normies, those relationships are soon forgotten. <laughs> then for sub fives, they're not even counted as they can't get relationships in the first place. Once again, guys, they can get relationships with women that are on their level or, or even one out of tens. So they can get them. But once again, you get the sub fives who want to go with the eight out of ten chicks. It's just not going to happen. Like, what? Why would it happen? If you were a eight or nine out of ten guy, would you go out with a three out of ten chick? No, you play pump and dumper in the back of the VN, but you wouldn't. You wouldn't, right? So you guys, yeah. Well, I'm critiquing this guy because I think this is rubbish. But this is a younger guy too. This is a younger guy. He, he probably he sounds like probably young, young, probably twenty or something in his twenties. All right, guys, about halfway through. So if you're enjoying the content, please sub to the channel. Um, and if you want to support me, just watch your videos through to the end, guys. This will get to me out there. Like, comment, interact um, with each other in the comments. If you disagree with stuff I'm saying, put it in the comments. I'll try and respond to you if I think it's um, a valid enough attack or, or challenge, so to speak. Not attack. Let's not attack each other, but let's challenge each other's thoughts. And if you want to support me further, check out the Patreon, guys. Link in the video description or pinned comment. 21. If a Chad is high value enough. This is talking about the top 1% now. His partner may allow him to date multiple women nah. at the same time. Nah. In other words, allowing a one-way polygamous relationship. Nah. In contrast, normies cannot do this and in fact will often beg women to be in a relationship with them. Lastly, sub fives don't even get relationships that they beg for. <sighs> anyway, those are the first 21 points, and now I'm rapidly halfway through the video. If you've enjoyed what you've seen so far, now is a good time to press the like button and leave any thoughts you have in the comments below. Go check him out as if you it like helps it, guys. the YouTube algorithm. <laughs> anyway, carrying on to point 22. When a man is single, a chad will be able to set up and go on dates regularly. In contrast, normies will get far less, and for the ones they do arrange, they'll often get flaked on. As for sub fives, they won't even get offers and instead face rejection on the spot. Oh, gee, if they it's pretty bleak, isn't it? Twenty. 20 a lot of those Chad guys, they don't want to go on dates. They get, as I said, they get away with getting uh, with 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 coffee dates um, and catch ups, and they work out the game, so they don't have to spend so much money. Because guys become that way because they've learnt, they've adapted, and yes, yes, uh, some guys are taller and better looking genetically and all that, but. 
everyone's been a simp at some point in their life. Everyone's done stupid things to women at some point in their life. Some guys learn, some guys don't. Some guys keep doing the same things and, and complaining about it. D3. Game refers to the umbrella of social techniques a man can use to improve his chances when talking to women. Its effectiveness can vary greatly depending on who's using it. For a sub-5, it'll have no impact as he'll get rejected anyway. For a normie, it's a matter of fact a learning game can improve his dating life and get him better results. Then for a chad, it may increase his results somewhat. But realistically, a Chad doesn't need game as he can still get dating success without it. No, that's not true. You need game, and a certain kind of game is just being direct and not giving a shit. That's what I that's what I say to you guys. Be direct, just be straight up, say what you want to get out of it. Most of them will block and delete you or whatever, but don't waste time. You don't need game. You don't need to stuff around and uh, say funny pickup lines and put prompts in your profiles and all that sort of bullshit because it's just time wasting, all right? No girl who actually is interested in you uh, is going to care about you talking about poems and all this sort of stuff and, and writing clever responses and doing job interview applications as per dating um, profiles. I ask a guy, put in your, your dating application and guys actually do it. Don't do that shit. And this, uh, I feel sorry for good old poor Mr. Sub5. He's just copping and smashing in this video, isn't he? So life's pretty bleak for him. 24. This leads into my next point as chads will be able to attract women with their looks alone. True. Meanwhile, normies will often need a few other things going for them such as great social skills or several common interests with a girl. Then for sub fives, none of their extras will matter as they'll get rejected whatever they have. 25. To put it another way, normies can improve their dating life by following the principles of the red pill. Then for chads, despite how ridiculous it sounds, they can still have a good dating life even if they are blue-pilled. Then for sub-fives, their only option is to take the black pill. 26. Is it the chads only option? Chads will receive choosing signals from women, which in essence is an indirect way for a girl to approach a man. For example, this may be a waitress resting her hand on a customer when he's about to pay. Just take a look <laughs> okay. at this TikTok. It shows a good example of what I mean. <laughs> nice. So, as you saw by that clip, the woman made it easier for the Chad to approach her. As for sub fives and normies, they. It's a stupid TikTok, mate. Like, TikTok isn't anything on TikTok. That's why I made like, I made like 150 videos using TikTok women, guys. Uh, I'm sort of taking a, a short break from doing that because it's all brain rot stuff on there. But you can't take that as an example of what happens out in the real world. And a lot of these guys, they go social media and they start watching this stuff and they start going, yeah, black pill and going down to a rabbit hole. He said sub fives should never try. Um, he, the, the only option for him is to go uh, black pill and give up. I don't agree with that. You've got to be persistent and you've got to be better, okay? If you're not looking so great, work out, be a bit better, right? I don't like to push that self-improvement stuff, but it's true. What are you going to do? You're going to sit there and say, oh, well, I'm just going to give up. It's like saying you've got a job and you're not making the money you want to make. Go study, go or try and get a different job. Not just give up and go, oh, I may as well go on Centrelink, you know? Well, I don't get this shit. <laughs> they will often be presented avoidance signals which show the woman doesn't want to speak with him. 27. When it comes to partner selection, chads have freedom of choice and little to no competition. This is because once a woman goes with a chad, she knows he's the best she will get. So anyone else is an automatic downgrade. In contrast, for normies, the competition is fierce and they often compete with one another for the attention of women. Then for sub fives, almost embarrassingly, they compete with themselves to be a simp for a woman. 28. That makes no sense, but... There's always competition, guys. Guys think, oh, these guys say, oh, if a guy's good looking or whatever, he's just got an instant cheat code and gets heaps of action and there's no effort involved. There's always effort. Always talk about it. It's hard. I wouldn't say I'm a Chad, guys, but I'm tall and I've got the muscles and stuff like that. And so I had the good dating profile with the suit. I had a good job and I ticked all those boxes, right? Look looked like I had money and all that sort of shit. You still got to compete. You still get flaked on. You still get blocked and deleted. You still get ghosted right? It still happens. It might happen a bit less, or at least you, you might get some more opportunities than what other guys might not, but that, that bullshit still happens. Women get frustrated when Chad doesn't text them back. 
Meanwhile, it's the reverse for normies, as women leave them on red for hours. Then for sub fives, funnily enough, they the don't issues. even have to worry about this issue, as they will often get blocked. <laughs> 29. On online dating, the only way normies can be somewhat successful is by posting high quality and high status photos. A great example of this is Simon Levy from the Tinder Swindler. Oh, As for chads, they can get away with mirror selfies and cringe photos and still get results. Then for sub fives, all techniques will work just as bad as they all net zero matches. <laughs> 30. Again. In high school, chads might be told you're going to break a lot of hearts when you're older. Meanwhile, normies and sub fives will be told, I know you're going to make a girl very happy one day. 31. Another common occurrence in high school is chads will be gossiped about by the girls. They may say things like, I wonder who John has a crush on. I think he likes Alison. I wonder when he's going to ask her out. Meanwhile, if normies and sub fives try to enter the dating game in high school, they will be told to just focus on yourself for a while, which in essence is only a polite way of keeping unwanted guys out of the dating market. Never heard of that, but I, I, I would agree that even um, through my experiences dating is that trying to get girls as a teenager or even in my 20s, I found that really hard. It was a real challenge. Um, I always found once, once I came a bit more established in my life and had a bit more going for me um, that I became... Uh, a lot less effort, right? A lot more success. So yeah, I can agree with that. And there's always those guys at high school, right? Um, who they're living, they're living a life on the front end of life, right? So everything's going for them. They're a good looking guy. Um, uh, girls like them. They're the bad boy or whatever it is. They're good at sport and all that. But those guys, they're, they're a lot of the time, their star, that, that, that stops shining as life goes on and they degrade and they hit the wall, right? Women, a guy that they say, Men don't hit the wall, they bloody do. Because some of these guys that I would have thought were chads or the guys that all the girls liked, and you see them now, um, they, get, they wouldn't have a shot. They wouldn't be able to get a girl. It's 32. One caveat to this, though, for normies, is they may luck out once or twice at school with an attractive girlfriend, as she's yet to get a taste of chads. This is known as just be first theory. As for chads, they don't need to rely on this as they already have much dating success. Then for sub fives, besides having the luck of a lottery win, they can't rely on just be first as an option. 33. Another common problem in young men's dating lives is a girl may talk to normies and chads the exact same way. And when the chad fails to pick up on the signs, the girl will get frustrated because he's not made a move. However, when a normie does pick up on the signals and he makes his move, he is rejected, told there were no such indications and the girl was just being friendly. <laughs> 34. Chads will generally acquire more confidence and better social skills during their school years. Yep. This is due to them receiving better treatment and involvement from classmates. And this is known as positive reinforcement theory. Uh. In contrast, sub fives are more likely to be shy and timid as they get excluded more often. This is known as negative reinforcement theory. Third I'd, ha I'd have to agree with that. Um, that's probably a really good point. So I've been, I've been, I've been um, getting stuck into every other point, but that probably makes sense to me. You are, you are a, a sum of your past experiences. So if you're having a bad time early on in life, you might take on those negative social interactions um, throughout your life. Thirty-five. Moving past high school age, chads will continue to dominate the dating market in their early to mid twenties. However, normies may be able to catch up and have their season in the sun after 30 if they've built great wealth and oh, resources. Normie, then. As for sub fives, they never get a season in the sun, no matter how much <laughs> they sub five. 36. When a man asks a woman about his looks, sub fives will be told, it's not your looks, it's your personality that's the problem. You should work on that first. Normies will be told, you're just not my type. I'm not the right girl for you, but don't worry, you'll find one someday. Chads will be told, you can get any girl you want. There's nothing for you to worry about. Th Never heard about that, but I think this comes down to the sort of girls you're chasing once again. So there's a certain kind of girl will go for that Chad archetype throughout their whole life, and they're the ones who end up on TikTok and all that, you know, crying that they're not married at 40 and don't have kids and oh, some guy cheated on them or whatever it is. 
majority of women don't do that, right? In my experience, like people that I know in my network, guys and girls, I know guys who you would consider normie or even sub fives. They're married, they've got kids, they're happy, you know? So I don't know about this sort of stuff, guys, but as I said, trying to pick up girls that are way above your 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 station in life, it's just going to end, for, end, end in frustration. But what I noticed as well when I was working in uh, corporate, um, a lot of the women there, they might be um, really attractive, you know, successful type women. Their husbands, boyfriends, they were probably in the normie or some of them are in the sub five category. So I think a lot of guy, girls avoid good old Mr. Chad. If they're smart, they avoid him, right? And a lot of them do. A lot of them do. It isn't every girl. This guy is saying in absolutes. Every girl goes for Chad. Normie's sort of trying really hard. He gets a little bit of action. Sub five, don't even bother being alive, basically. <laughs> and said, so guys, I'm, I'm more for positive. I'm, I'm a critical thinker. I can be very cynical, but I'm a posit- I have a positive mindset. I think you can always achieve something. It's just got to put in effort and try. 37. A common bias against sub fives is their positive qualities will be seen as negatives. For example, confidence will be seen as arrogance. For chads, the reverse is true. Their negatives can be seen as positives. For example, a lack of confidence may be seen as mysterious. For normies, they are the only group that has a matching of their qualities to their reception. 38. Normies and sub fives will think of any reason to explain why a Chad got the girl and not him. That's any reason besides looks. He might say something like, Chad just got there first. My girl will soon realise I'm the man who really cares and then break up with Chad and choose (laughs) me instead. 39. Chads can get good results in either online, cold or warm approach. Normies can get results in warm approach and very occasionally cold approach. However, online is not an option for them. And then for sub fives, they get no results in any approach. (laughs) 40. Finally, to sum up the entire video, women break rules for chads and make rules for normies and sub fives. So if you, I would say that would have to be true, guys. The amount of times, and I'm not saying I'm a chad. All right, I might. uh, Some girls might have perceived me to be maybe something like that. I'm actually not that. I'm very much an introvert, critical thinker, analytical-minded person, right? But the amount of times I, 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 rules were tried to put on me and then they, those those rules were quickly um, broken or taken away or forgotten um, was astonishing. You know, oh, I, I, I'm not doing anything on the first night or I don't normally do this or I don't, I don't expect anything to happen or I don't bring guys back to my house and all that sort of stuff. The amount of times I heard that sort of stuff, guys. When you do hear that, that's basically shoo-in. You're a shoo-in. Well, some action if you play your cards right. Anyway, that's enough, guys, from me. Uh, if you agree with me, disagree with me, uh, put in the comments. I want to hear about it. Guys, put your experiences in. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to get some of these black pill guys say that I'm a blue pill beta cuck um, by sort of disagreeing with some of this stuff. Uh, but I think I'm just being realistic based on my own anecdotal experiences uh, in life. So, guys, thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next one.